Welcome to the 31st Annual Golden Apple Awards from the Oneida Hotel. Join us for the next hour as we recognize this year's recipients. The Golden Apple Awards presented by the Greater Green Bay Chamber and the Donald and Darlene Long Family Foundation is brought to you by Associated Bank, Green Bay Packaging, the George Kress Foundation, JBS, M3 Insurance, Schneider Foundation, The Press Times, United Healthcare, and WLUK Fox 11. Now, here is WLUK Fox 11 and WCWF CW 14 Vice President and General Manager Jay Zoller. Greetings and welcome to the 31st Annual Golden Apple Awards program. We are pleased to be able to continue this tradition of recognizing our educational community. It is an honor to be able to salute our Golden Apple Award winners, as well as all of the teachers of distinction. It requires much sacrifice for many who continue the important work of educating and molding our students for the future. Amazing job, everyone. Enjoy the show. Welcome to the 2024 Golden Apple Awards presented by the Greater Green Bay Chamber and the Donald and Darlene Long Family Foundation. I'm Mark Leland from Fox 11. And I'm Michelle Melby. For the last 31 years, we brought to you the area's most engaging teachers. That amounts to hundreds of educators, all making a difference right here in Northeast Wisconsin. And for the next hour, we'll introduce you to this year's eight recipients joining this prestigious group. We'll go inside their classrooms to see what really makes them stand out. Our first recipient of 2024 is no exception, even in another language. Caitlin Vanden Weingart from Notre Dame Academy says it's more than just the language that makes learning fun. Hola! Looking for anything but a smile on the face of 2024 Golden Apple recipient Caitlin Vanden Weingart, Buena suerte! That's good luck to you and I. Decir sobre esta a high school Spanish teacher at Notre Dame Academy, oh, no es calvo. Senora VW has always loved language in general. It goes adjective and then it goes now. Not just Spanish. As a kid, I would create my own languages. Really? I, yeah, it was, I was that kid. Okay. Um, hey. So, like this is a noun and verbs end this way. And, <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was unique. Como yeah. dice? And there was never any doubt about where she wanted to bring that passion. Rosado, muy bien, él es rosado. As a little kid, I would line up all the, the toys and I would do lessons with the whiteboard oh, sure. and everything. So I always knew I wanted to teach. And it wasn't really until I got to high school that I fell in love with Spanish. She also fell in love with Spanish cultures and highlights them not just to make her classes more immersive, but also more inclusive for students from Spanish speaking homes. We're going to be doing some baking and cooking and then bringing that in. Um, and one thing I always tell students, I said, if there's a family recipe that you want to share with your classmates, bring it in. Well, I was planning to do pozole verde. What's that? It's it says if it was buya, but it's green, it's chicken, and it has like grains and corn. Okay. Yeah. That sounds so, delicious. Yeah. Senora VW also has a master's in reading intervention. She can see like, okay, so yes, the student speaks Spanish naturally, but I can see the reading deficits there too. Her special education colleague, Katie Bialk, says it's given her even more insight for helping struggling students. She has a really cool job like figuring that out and letting us know like, hey, yeah, this might be the problem for the child. It's not just, you know, that they're an English learner, but there's also this. No, mira la cara de su papá, mira. And Senora VW cherishes connecting with her students at this pivotal point in their lives. Do I want to do a four-year school? Am I going to join the military? Am I looking at the workforce? It's also, I have an opportunity to work with students and just, how do you be a good human being? Like, how do you care for others? It's not always looking at yourself, but also how can you help those around you and how can you lift them up? Phil DeCastro, Fox 11 News. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founding father and first president of the Republic of Turkey, said this about teachers in the 1920s. A good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to light the way for others. This sums up Caitlin perfectly because she gives her entire being to teaching her students. She walks alongside each of them, lighting the way as she challenges and supports them to reach their full potential. Her candle shines brightly as she guides each student with a gentle nudge or sometimes pulls them along on their educational journey. She does not give up on any of them. 
When I asked a few colleagues and former students to describe Caitlin with one adjective, there were very common responses. She's ambitious, caring, genuine, passionate, patient, and dedicated. It is my honor and privilege to introduce my esteemed colleague and very dear friend, Caitlin Vanden Weingard. Presenting the Golden Apple Award is Jay Zoller, Vice President and General Manager at WLUK Fox 11 and WCWF CW 14. Caitlin, on behalf of everyone here at Fox 11, we want to congratulate you and thank you for all you're doing for our kids out there. Your dedication is most appreciated. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's a great honor. I am humbled and honored to be standing in front of you as one of the 2024 Golden Apple recipients. I want to thank all the sponsors for making this evening possible, especially the Greater Green Bay Chamber and WLUK Fox 11. Behind every good teacher, there is a strong support system. Thank you to my husband, Ben, and my parents for always supporting me. To my Notre Dame Academy family, especially my World Language Department colleagues, Amy, Brenda, Crystal, Diane, and Jen, Thank you for inspiring me to be the most authentic version of myself and for inspiring me to become the educator that I am today. Thank you to my dear friend and fellow colleague, Katie, for being my biggest cheerleader and to my students. Thank you for inspiring and challenging me to be the best version of myself. For as long as I can remember, I have always wanted to be a teacher. I know this may be subjective, but in my opinion, teaching is by far the best profession. In what other profession are you able to start each year with a fresh canvas? Educators have the privilege of building meaningful relationships and making positive impacts that can last a lifetime. To my fellow teachers, thank you. Thank you for playing a vital role in shaping the future of society by educating and empowering the next generation. We contribute to the betterment of communities by equipping students with the knowledge, skills, and most importantly, the values needed to become responsible citizens and leaders. For me, teaching provides a sense of fulfillment that comes from knowing I'm making a meaningful difference in the world around me. Although I'm not the master gardener, I take immense joy in knowing that I am planting seeds that will one day bloom. Thank you. We've been proudly doing this at WLUK TV now for over 30 years. And this has become extremely important to us because we look at this as a way to connect with the community, to give back to the community, to also really recognize those who are working so hard day in and day out to be educating our children. When you take a look at all the things that are going on right now with young people in high school through you know, kindergarten, um, there's a lot of different challenges. There's a lot of different things that they're growing up with right now. And it takes really dedicated and inspirational leaders and teachers and educators to be able to help really prepare these young people for the future. And that's the work that we're celebrating today. One of the things that is so impressive to me right now is the fact that these educators are really dealing with a lot more issues than they were when I was growing up. There are a lot of things that these young people are facing nowadays and the educators that are being celebrated today are those that are taking on additional roles of not just teaching but also listening and understanding and counseling and mentoring and doing things that perhaps weren't expected of them years ago but those that we're celebrating today are really those that are committed to excellence and they're committed to really being involved in these children's lives. The Greater Green Bay Chamber's educational programming is made possible through the support of our generous sponsors. Let's take a moment now to highlight and say thank you to the 2024 Sustaining Platinum, Gold, Silver and Bronze members of the Golden Apple Awards. The 2024 Golden Apple Awards are supported by sustaining sponsors Somerville, Wisconsin Chevy Super Dealers, Platinum Sponsors. Aurora Bay Care Medical Center, Imperial Supplies, Provea Health, Wisconsin Public Service Foundation, Gold Sponsors, Bellin College, CESA 7, Green Bay Packers Give Back, Northeast Wisconsin Technical College, Renning Lewis and Lacey, Santa Max, University of Wisconsin Green Bay, Silver Sponsors, Amerhart, Camera Corner, Connecting Point, Humana, Rasmussen University, Bronze and Photo Station Sponsor, Amundsen Davis LLC, 
Supporting sponsors, Nature's Best Floral and Boutique, Oneida Hotel, Ruby Design Event Rentals and Design Company, Shana Marie Photography. Our next Golden Apple recipient is giving young learners a boost. I had the chance to go and visit and see how Carly Shire is doing just that at Hemlock Creek Elementary School. I want to make sure we have time to practice with our magic e ones today. Yay! They're laminated and fancy. Special education instructor Carly Shire. Ah. Yep, and your hand ah. under your chin. Ah. Mm -hmm. Loves coming up with magical methods to enhance her students' learning. Get your magic wands. Are you ready? On the count of three, you're going to say ta da. One, two, three. Ta da! I really enjoy being able to problem solve and figure out what works best for these kids. So knowing all the resources that I have, all of the things that I've done in the past that have been successful, like figuring out what combination of those supports is going to work for each student. All right, here we go. Tell me that first time. She's count. in her seventh year of teaching and has always been drawn to special education. Eyes on me, your sound is... Here she's using repeat. sand shelves with her students to practice drawing the letters and sounding them out. Ah. Uh, you got it. Shake to erase. I enjoy really working with those students who have higher support needs, who really need that extra boost, um, and just require more of that one-on-one -on -one attention to be successful. With special education, Mrs. Shire works with the students in their classroom. She also pulls them out into her classroom to work with them one-on-one. -on, -one. on this day, she's working with kindergarten students. They all love the fun that she brings to her classroom. Do you guys like her? How come? Because she, I like her room. She likes she likes learning stuff. We do um, activities. Shire says every day is different and incredible working with these kids. And as one of this year's Golden Apple recipients, she loves the light that it shines on teaching. I'm still just very, very humbled about all of it. Good job today, my friend. Michelle Melby, Fox 11 News. It's my pleasure to honor a teacher who serves as a mentor and champion for all those she works with. Carly Shire serves as a beacon of possibility in the world of special education. With tireless dedication, she provides support that unlocks the potential within each student. Carly's genuine care for her students' well-being goes far beyond academics. She understands the unique challenges faced by each child and provides a space where they can not only learn, but grow their confidence in all areas of development. Recognizing that achievement isn't accomplished in isolation, Carly builds a strong support network with colleagues, which creates a collaborative environment where ideas are exchanged, problems are tackled as a team, and successes are celebrated. One colleague aptly refers to her as a cheerleader, someone who continuously encourages and acknowledges victories, big and small. With a passion for nurturing young minds, Carly builds bridges between home and school. She recognizes parents have entrusted her to their most precious resource, their child. Carly empowers parents with knowledge and support, allowing them to confidently nurture their child's development every step of the way. It is my distinct pleasure to present Carly Shire. Presenting the Golden Apple Award is Grant Argel, Retirement Plan Consultant at M3 Insurance. Carly, on behalf of M3 Insurance, congratulations on your Golden Apple Award. Thank you. I'm incredibly honored to be receiving a Golden Apple Award. I'd first like to thank the Greater Green Bay Chamber, as well as M3 Insurance, for sponsoring my award. It truly does take a village to raise a child, and this is particularly true in special education. For that reason, I have many people I'd like to thank who supported me in the journey that led me to be standing on this stage today. To my colleagues, fellow teachers, therapists, and paraprofessionals, thank you for your desire to work together to increase accessibility for all students. Thank you for laughing, crying, and celebrating with me. Unfortunately, if I listed all of your names, I'd certainly exceed my 90-second time limit, which I'm already pushing. To the administration at the School District of West Pier and Hemlock Creek Elementary, especially Amy and Kathy, thank you for supporting me, for acknowledging my hard work, and trusting in my decisions to do what is best for all students. 
Thank you to my husband, Chris, for not thinking twice when I ask you to do things like use your miter saw to cut a huge pile of pencils in half so the pencils will fit in my kindergartner's tiny hands. Thank you to my parents, Scott and Trisha, who, among many other things, supported my 21-year dance career that has built the foundation for some pretty awesome classroom dance parties. And lastly, thank you to my first grade teacher, Mrs. Hallam, who let me, a painfully shy six-year-old, hold a stuffed animal anytime I missed my mom after my family moved cross country. The feeling I had, knowing that she truly cared about me and did what she could to ensure I felt loved, is one that I still think about 26 years later. I will continue to emulate that genuine care and compassion in my classroom each and every day. Thank you. Honoring our standout educators is essential to the work that we do at M3. We know that our educators are making a difference in the classrooms every day, and we are energized by the opportunity to bring innovative solutions to our school districts, not only to serve our educators in the classroom, but also to serve them outside of the classroom and serve the communities whom they are engaging with. Our K-12 educators are the foundation of our future workforce. They encourage our students and our youth to explore pathways that they didn't have in consideration before. They encourage them to follow areas of interest and to dig in deeper to their passions. And most importantly, our educators create a safe space for children to engage, to explore, and to acknowledge opportunities that are in front of them. When you watch our recipients' classroom stories, you notice in their eyes and in their smile the energy that they bring to the profession and to their students. When you hear them talk about the experiences they have in their classroom or the difference that they've made, you know that it's an area where they're passionate about. Uh, you can't watch a video of our educators in their classroom without truly understanding the care that they have for their students and the passion that they have for the content that they teach. Congratulations to the individual teachers and the team of teachers who have been selected as our 2024 Teachers of Distinction. These teachers have been nominated by their students and community from thousands of entries. Here is our first group of those recipients. In a classroom, students learn and students grow. But something else is also growing inside of Clayton Vodder's Preble High School classroom. And as I found out, it's a good thing. Uh, so students are getting ready for spring. This greenhouse is Clayton Vodder's classroom. All of this we transplanted from a bigger plant. It's filled with thousands of flowers, herbs, and plants. He is one of the best teachers I've ever had. All of it grown by students. So he's shown us how to grow plants from seed, how to grow plants from other plants, and just how to do stuff that's like genuinely useful. They love learning about agriculture in an urban setting. Uh, they have to learn watering requirements, they have to know fertilizer requirements, uh, check for pests, and ensure that they have a quality product. Working in the greenhouse is something that all of the students say they love about this class. Getting to see their plants grow every week is something they look forward to. A big part of their success is how Vodder teaches. He sees the best in people and he's always like pushing students to like be the best that they can be and like strive to achieve whatever they want. For 15 years, Vodder has brought classes to life. And for him, it's a dream job. To me, it doesn't feel like work. This feels like uh, home. You know, I wasn't born in Wisconsin, but I got here as fast as I could. Very amazing instructor, one of the best I've ever had. Um, like, if you need help, he's there, um, doesn't treat you like you're dumb or anything. Like, every question's a good question. So we put our fishing poles together, it was like a stick, and then we made this whole part. 
In this classroom, students are putting together fishing rods. You want it to when you look down that rod, you see it, you can see through it like a gun scope, right? The hands-on learning resonates with everyone. He's my favorite teacher because he likes to help you individually and he helps you until you get it right. Vader says he loves watching his students enjoy their learning process. It gives me a purpose and, and, and that's something I just truly and truly enjoy and I'm passionate about. Part of what makes him a Golden Apple instructor. That's like really, really good. Michelle Melby, Fox 11 News. It is with great pleasure and admiration that we celebrate Clayton Vader, agri-science teacher at Preble High School, for being honored with the Golden Apple Award. As a second generation ag teacher and a graduate of Texas A&M University, Clayton followed in his father's footsteps, demonstrating his commitment to agricultural education. Clayton has a gift for seeing the best in his students and helping them believe in themselves. His competitive spirit drives him to push his students to excel, as is seen by the success of the Preble FFA teams under his leadership. Clayton's ability to inspire his students to reach their full potential truly sets him apart. I am grateful to have him as a colleague, mentor, and friend, and congratulate him on his well-deserved recognition. Presenting the Golden Apple Award is Tiffany Hagland, Senior Client Service Analyst at United Healthcare. I'm honored on behalf of United Healthcare to present the Golden Apple Award to you, Clayton Vodder. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Greater Green Bay Chamber, and thank you, United Healthcare, for sponsoring my Golden Apple Award. I am so honored to be one of this year's recipients. I also want to say thank you to my beautiful daughter, Olivia, for being here this evening. I love you so much. In the fall of 2007, I found my calling and started my career as an agricultural science teacher. For the first time in my life, I discovered a job that didn't feel like work. Tonight, I want to offer my sincere thanks to the Green Bay Area Public School Board, Superintendent Vicki Beyer, Principals Courtney Keene and Adam Wiskirchen, as well as the entire Preble administration team for their unfailing support and dedication. Thank you, Tom Sobranek, for being an exceptional mentor and leader to us all. Sarah Valentine, your contributions and friendship are truly invaluable to me. Thank you for always challenging me to improve. I am deeply grateful to Lynn Rivera and all of my colleagues for creating a positive and fulfilling workplace. In closing, I wish to acknowledge my students. Each day, I am inspired by your dedication, passion, and hard work. Keep pushing yourself to excel, and may you find a career that ignites the same passion within you as it does for me. At United Healthcare, we've always played a very big role in the communities we serve and where our employees live and raise their families. We find recognizing excellence in teaching to be very important. We're always striving, as many organizations are, to make those communities great places to live and work. Schools obviously play a big part in shaping the future of our communities by educating and guiding our students, and we feel it's incredibly important to recognize and celebrate those who truly excel in that critical role. When I see these recipient stories, what jumps out at me is the passion and the perseverance. These teachers demonstrate an incredible amount of passion for the work they do. And in challenging times, as we've seen over the past couple of years, the level of dedication and energy they put forth seems to rise to the occasion. And it's truly impressive to see teachers who can push through and beyond these additional challenges to still achieve or maintain exceptional levels of results. Well, as I look back, there are many teachers that stand out, but the ones that are the most memorable are those that demonstrated that they truly cared about the students as individuals. They put the effort into figuring out really where students were at, and then they met them there, whether we're talking about their academic progress or the different ways in which students learn. I think the best teachers recognize that no two students are alike, and they find unique ways to support, challenge, and motivate all of them. Sometimes getting students interested in the subject of math can be a challenge for any teacher. But Nathan Knight at Bayview Middle School is up for that challenge, and as I saw firsthand, he's found the formula to succeed. So if we think of a rectangle, 
In Nathan Knight's eighth grade math class at Bayview Middle School, teaching plus learning equals fun. I mean, I wouldn't say my goal is to, to make it fun, but to, to maybe take a little pressure off of some of the anxiety that a lot of students come in with regarding math. Knight knows math isn't the most exciting subject for many students, but numbers are an important part of everyday life, and Knight is working to get students to understand that. I think the most important thing is trying to bring purpose to, to the learning, um, giving them ideas how they might use it in the future or how it might relate to the next chapter or the next day. He has found that giving them that purpose makes them a little more eager to learn. Yeah, I always thought it was just like doing like like equations and stuff, but he like really makes it fun. To accomplish that goal, Knight is constantly mixing things up in class through the use of videos, the whiteboard, and team collaboration. He's keeping the students active and moving and interested. I like to make jokes. Um, I'll use memes in the class, I'll try and do math memes that relate to what we're doing. He understands us and he knows how to make us happy and make us have fun with math. In addition to his own years of schooling, Nathan Knight has been teaching for 17 years, but he also had a special mentor growing up. His mother, Barbara, who was recognized with a golden apple back in 2002. Teaching is in my blood, and um, uh, I was just exposed to it, and, and she was a, a great part of that. Knight now shares in that golden apple tradition, and part of that is he finds as a teacher, he's constantly learning too. Every year is different. Uh, um, the math itself might be the same, but the strategies to, to reach the students, that's all different. Everything changes, every kid is different. Knight has calculated his student success by helping to make them understand the process, knowing with greater confidence, young minds will want to learn and grow. I love math. I love that you guys love math so much. I got so Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. Hello, my name is Easton Coles and I'm currently a sophomore at Bayport High School. The Golden Apple is a prestigious award which recognizes the hard work and outstanding achievement a teacher has brought to their classroom. I was lucky enough to have Mr. Knight as my math and homeroom teacher. He led me and my peers through difficult times and went beyond expectations to push us to be people who we didn't think we could be. Getting to know Mr. Knight, I've learned that he's always loved the movie The Karate Kid. As I'm sure all of you know, in that movie, Mr. Miyagi was the mentor and educator of Danny LaRusso. As a student of Mr. Knight for two years, I found that he has many of the same characteristics as a beloved Mr. Miyagi, including enthusiasm, a positive attitude, and pushing his students to learn, improve, and grow. His leadership and love for his job has had a long-lasting impact on me and many others. It's no coincidence that the word Miyagi translates to hero. Please help me in congratulating your 2024 Golden Apple Award winner from Bayview Middle School, Mr. Nathan Knight. Presenting the Golden Apple Award is Katie Barrera, Vice President of Compliance and Operational Risk and Monitoring Manager at Associated Bank. On behalf of Associated Bank and all of its partners, it is our honor to congratulate Mr. Nathan Knight as a 2024 Golden Apple Award recipient. Thank you. You're welcome. I am honored and humbled to be the recipient of a Golden Apple Award. I have been fortunate to be surrounded by a community that has and will continue to shape the teacher I am today. First and foremost, thank you to my family. They have supported me along every stage of my journey through education, from college applications, campus tours, to testing out my lesson plans and helping me set up my classroom. To my administration and coworkers, past and present, thank you. Teaching truly takes a village. Steve Myers, thank you for welcoming me into Bayview and the Howard Swamico School District and to Heath Garland for continuing to help me grow and share my passion for teaching. Heath, Aaron, Travis, and David, I appreciate your ongoing support and for always striving to create a culture where teachers and students feel a sense of purpose and belonging. A special thanks to my students. Getting to know them and watch their growth is inspiring and rewarding. In particular, I'd like to thank Easton Coles, a former student of mine, for helping me realize the value of seeing the whole person in education and not just the academics. It has been inspiring to watch you grow and succeed. You are a man of many talents and have a great future ahead of you. Last, thank you to the Greater Green Bay Chamber, Associated Bank, and the many other sponsors for their ongoing support of education and for this wonderful evening. Thank you.
Associated Bank has four core values, which are a relentless focus on people, to listen then act, a winning spirit, and achieving together. We feel that educators do these same things every day and share these values, so we're happy that we can honor those with a similar vision. Starting at a young age, teachers are talking about goals and career aspirations with their students. Teachers do a great job of bringing in local community members and businesses to talk about potential careers in their industry. This is so great because it shows the students that they can stay here, right in northeastern Wisconsin if they so choose, have a career, stay in the community they grew up in, and really continue that economic development in our community. What inspires me the most about the recipients is their creativity. They are probably teaching the same lessons and subjects year over year, and they come up with new, fresh, creative ways to really connect with today's student. Whether it be a fun new field trip idea, or a hands-on project, or making up a rap to the tune of a popular song, they are really going above and beyond to create an engagement and excitement amongst their students. I had a lot of teachers that really took the time not just to know me as their student, but as a person. Making connections and creating relationships is so valuable to me now, and I think it's because of these relationships that my teachers built. They didn't know they were teaching me that lesson, but they definitely did, and I thank them for that. Our next Golden Apple recipient almost didn't go into teaching. But Patty Wojcik from Seymour High School says she'll definitely retire as one. Your mass is in grams. 2024 Golden Apple recipient Patty Wojcik's career didn't start at Seymour High School. Yeah, this one's way easier. She credits her own high school yep. teachers for getting her to dream big. My high school teachers were the ones that really pushed me to say, um, we think you could, you know, go to UW-Madison, Patty. We think you could be an engineer. But after nine years as an engineer, it was the classroom that called to her. Actually, the career that my high school teachers talked me out of to be an engineer was I wanted to be a teacher. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, okay. Okay. so it was there. It was there. It yeah, was there. they were like, hey, I, Patty, you could probably do this too. And I don't think I would have done that if it wasn't for them. And so I always hope that I can be that light for some of the kids in my room that show them that there's more out there. She always tried to find ways and like if we had interests in certain things, she'd, be, she'd include it more in like our lessons, especially for biochem. She was always just so interested in what you were doing and she made you feel really seen and heard. Mrs. Wojcik says one career change was enough for her. She plans on retiring a teacher. When we're doing an activity like today and they're problem solving and they can't quite figure it out and that look on their face mm -hmm. when they finally get it and that pride they have in themselves, that's, that's just so rewarding. I think that the joy I've experienced in this career and the fulfillment has um, validated that decision so many times over. Do you feel like you've been able to pay it forward to students? I do. I do. Phil DeCastro, Fox 11 News. Hi, I'm Dennis Rohr, science teacher at Seymour High School, and I am incredibly honored to introduce our fellow science department team member, Mrs. Patty Wojcik. Patty is an incredible person, a compassionate educator who strives to push each of her students to new heights. She has been instrumental in moving both our science department and Seymour High School forward. If Patty had her way, she'd probably want to fly under the radar and would rather be setting up a lab for her students or even hanging out with her family. When I asked to see her golden apple the next hour, she had to get it out of her cabinet because she didn't want to draw attention to herself. And that's what true educators do. It's really about their students and not about them. As president-elect of the Wisconsin Society of Science Teachers, I collaborate with exemplary science teachers and professors from across the state, and none are more deserving of a golden apple than Patty. She is a true role model for her students and a fearless leader of our staff. She is one of the many reasons why we truly have great things happening in Seymour. Congratulations, Patty. Presenting the Golden Apple Award is Mike Hollihan, General Manager of the Press Times. On behalf of the Greater Green Bay Chamber and the Press Times, congratulations on your Golden Apple. Thank you. You bet. Receiving a Golden Apple has caused me to reflect on my career and celebrate the personal growth I have experienced as a teacher. 
There's so many great professionals in the Seymour School District that have fostered and supported my journey. My first mentor, Brenda Engel, took in a rookie and spent countless hours helping me learn how to teach science and manage a classroom. I am grateful for the awesome team of science teachers at Seymour High School who constantly push me to improve my craft and stretch my limits. I am a better teacher because of them. I also want to thank my family for their support. They didn't hesitate when I changed careers and are always understanding of the time I invest in teaching. When my son was young, he would wiggle his fingers under the bedroom door as he waited for me to finish working. And my husband still frequently waits for me to finish grading on a Sunday afternoon so we can go do something fun. I especially appreciate how my family has enthusiastically and proudly celebrated this award with me. Finally, I want to thank the Greater Green Bay Chamber and the Press Times for their continued support of educators. This event highlights some of the many talented teachers in school districts in our area and will hopefully inspire more people to become teachers in the future. Thank you for this opportunity. Receiving a golden apple is an honor and an experience I will never forget. The teachers, I mean, they can make such a difference in these, these students' lives and who they are and they make them feel better about who, themselves and get them you know, stronger education and that's developing our workforce, right? So once they get out in the workforce, the better educated they are, the, the better they do in their jobs and then the better Green Bay or greater Green Bay is a place to live and get more people to come here. The Golden Apple, it's just tremendous that they allow a platform for recognizing teachers, because teachers are incredible. And then at the Press Times, we're all about education. We're the official paper of all the school districts in the greater Green Bay area. So we covered all the school board meetings and help people be aware of what's, what's going on with the schools in the area. And the Golden Apple does the same thing with letting people know how great a teachers we have in this area. Watching the classroom stories, what really sticks out is, is the teachers and the passion that they have in their profession. It's not just a job to them. So many people just go to work from nine to five and then that's it. For these teachers, it's, it's who they are. They, they, their purpose is to help these kids become better and you can just see that. There is one class at Pulaski Community Middle School that involves getting your hands dirty. And as I found out from Golden Apple recipient Caleb Santi, it is the best way to understand the assignment. All right, let's get to it. Chaos might describe what you'll find on a typical day in agriculture teacher Caleb Santi's classroom at Pulaski Community Middle School, and he likes it that way. And I, I do, I thrive on that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a people person and I really enjoy uh, letting students get into the, the material themselves. To understand all there is to know about agriculture, Santi has students get hands-on. That means getting involved in planting seeds, tending to plants, and growing food. The importance of agriculture in society is often taken for granted, but Santee works to make sure students understand its vital role. We're all going to eat food and live in, live in the natural world, so we better understand and enjoy how we connect to it. Uh, for Santee, is agriculture is a passion. After 14 years of teaching, this golden apple teacher thrives on sharing that passion with his students. So that means being interested and, and learning myself constantly my whole life, new skills and, and new ways of doing things, new ways of growing, growing plants. and how different plants can play into how our greenhouse works, how seasonality works, so we can connect that to, to other aspects of life. His class helps me get a deeper understanding of agriculture and helps me if someone has a question in the community, how to answer it. Students in Caleb Santee's agriculture class certainly don't spend all their time at a desk. They spend a lot of time in the greenhouse and out in the community. Absolutely, yeah, we have tons of great community projects. They're, they're seasonal. Uh, as time comes and goes, we've got a great community garden that we, I bring students out to, so yeah. It's honestly just an amazing class to be in. I love doing all the agricultural things, and I love being in the class with Mr. Santee. He's overall just a great teacher. Right. Not every middle school has an agriculture class, cuttings. but in Pulaski, where it's part of the community, this lesson is in high demand. I don't know that it's unique, but I'd for sure say the teacher's unique in a great way. I wouldn't be a teacher if I didn't love learning, and I picked agriculture. One of those reasons was because there's so much to learn. And share. Mark Leland, 
Fox 11 News. Fellow educators and guests, I am beyond thrilled to be here to introduce someone who is my closest friend, Caleb Santee. Now I've had the privilege of knowing Caleb for quite some time. And let me tell you, he's not your average ag teacher. No, Caleb would teach circles around average. I've witnessed firsthand his dedication to his students and his passion for teaching when we taught together in O'Connell Falls. His enthusiasm is contagious, and it's no surprise to me that he's being recognized today with a Golden Apple Award for being such an amazing teacher. Whether he's teaching about hunter safety or handcrafting custom fishing rods, Caleb has a unique way of making even the most complex topics easy to understand and downright fascinating. But beyond his expertise in agriculture, Caleb is also a friend, mentor, and role model to so many. So without further ado, please join me in congratulating Caleb Santee on this well-deserved honor. Caleb, you inspire us all and I couldn't be prouder to call you my friend. Congrats. Presenting the Golden Apple Award is Michelle Hansen, president of the George Kress Foundation for Green Bay Packaging. Caleb, on behalf of Green Bay Packaging and all of our employees, congratulations on your Golden Apple Award. Thank you. You're welcome. To be here receiving the prestigious Golden Apple Award is a moment I will cherish for the rest of my days. I'm deeply grateful to Green Bay Packaging and the George Crest Foundation for their generous sponsorship and recognition of educators like myself, who over the years strive to make a difference in the lives of students and communities. Your value and recognition of great teaching is appreciated. Teaching is more than a profession, it's a calling. One of our duties is nurturing and growing connections between people, regardless of their age. I'm a product of the incredible relationships I've found throughout my career. I appreciate the connections I have grown with my students and value their eternal optimism. Moreover, I value the wisdom, experience, and tales of my colleagues. Mentors like Mr. Christian Dory, Mr. Terry Erdman and many others have shared with me so much that I feel as if I stand on the shoulders of giants. In the journey of education, we understand the profound impact of lifelong relationships. Great teachers are not only educators, they are mentors, confidants, and learning leaders themselves. Together, teachers cultivate a thriving environment by the stories we tell every day. This reminds me of the immense responsibility and privilege we hold as educators. Let us honor that responsibility by growing our relationships as we regale our favorite stories together. Share some wisdom, learn something new, and celebrate in good company. Thank you. Well, it's important agreement packaging in the George Crest Foundation because we're, we're so invested in the community and, and there's really no uh, more important cornerstone probably than educators in our community. Giving students uh, and our children a baseline of, of education, a solid foundation from which to, to so pursue what they want to pursue Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, is, is crucial. And I think maybe even more importantly, uh, they're sparking intellectual curiosity, which is so important, and imparting the value of, of learning as a lifelong pursuit and effort, which um, you know, from a workforce perspective, you know, they will have the, the vision, the creativity, the foresight to not just do the jobs that exist today, but to create the jobs, create the companies, create the, the industries and the economies that, that, that will exist. Um, when I watch the stories about the teachers, the thing that initially stands out to me is, is the, the, the passion, the evident passion, the vocational vigor that they have for something that's, that's clearly a calling beyond uh, just a profession. And I think the next thing is, is the ingenuity and the creativity that they bring to bear and connecting students to these subjects, to these concepts, to these things in their world in ways that matter to them and resonate with them uh, and stick with them. And, and I have any number of examples in my own life where that's true. 
We'd like to take a moment now to recognize and say thank you to our K through 12 education partners. Yeah, you know, these schools help make the Golden Apple Awards program possible. Our next Golden Apple recipient might be hard to spot because of her various costumes. But that's just the sort of thing that Andrea Huggett from Edison Middle School says makes math and learning fun. Algebra is tricky. Middle school plus math. Oh, I see. For some, a tricky problem. But for Andrea Huggett, the answer is simple. Think about it a little bit more. Because I did the same thing too. I made the same mistake. Go in with a growth mindset. The answer to what kind of problem? The biggest thing is, you know, checking in with them. Multiplication? Subtraction? You're saying them all, man. Actually, like sitting down with the kids and listening to their whole thought process because a lot of the times they might not have it right away, but there's just that little tweak yes. of like, you get this part, but not that part. Fantastic job. Good fix, my lady. Sometimes getting through to her students involves speaking to them in their first language. Sometimes it's math lottery day. All right, number 66 is Dylan. Right answers. 14. Win prizes. I was Zorro. And some Sometimes it involves dressing up. Next week I'm going to be dressed up as a fairy. She keeps a closet full of costumes related to the lesson of the day. A barista, a gnome, Zorro, whatever it takes. Now the kids are like, oh my gosh, and they kind of roll their eyes, but I know that that's what they're going to remember about me in middle school. They're going to look back and be like, oh yeah, she was that teacher that dressed up and made math fun. You got your match. No, you got six more. She just has so much joy. There's never a bad day in this class, and she just helps everybody out as much as she can. She makes it super easy for us. I learn something new like almost every day. We don't realize that it's about math, and like we learn a lot of stuff by the games. Mrs. Huggett is obviously doing something that's connecting with her students. Not only did she win this golden apple, she won this one too. Huggett was part of the math team at Edison that won a 2018 Golden Apple. I can't do this job on my own. I have an amazing team that surrounds me and supports me, and that's how I envision my classroom needs to be as well. They need to support and lift each other up when they're not understanding something. They do rely on each other and their teacher. And then my gnome beard. <laughs> The costumes and kindness make it that much easier. So fun. At Edison Middle School in Green Bay, Rachel Monick, there you go. Fox 11 News. Winning a Golden Apple Award is a testament to the hard work, dedication, and compassion teachers and teams put into their role as educators. My name is Holly Snyder, and it is an honor to not only introduce this winner, but to have had the opportunity to teach alongside of her for almost seven years. Andrea has the biggest heart for her students and colleagues. She demonstrates selflessness by putting everyone else above herself. The compassion she shows towards others is admirable, and the energy she exudes into all that she does makes learning fun and engaging and draws people to her. She builds relationships with students that last beyond the school year. Students are always coming back to see her for advice, math help, or conversation. Andrea helps all children and adults feel seen and heard. She truly makes a difference each and every day. With that, I'd like to introduce Andrea Huggett. Presenting the Golden Apple Award is Kevin Lacombe, Regional Sales Director at Schneider. Andrea, on behalf of Schneider and all of our associates, I want to thank you for everything that you do and congratulate you on this tremendous award. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hello, and thank you all for honoring the remarkable dedication and hard work of our teachers. I want to extend a special thank you to the Greater Green Bay Chamber and Schneider for their invaluable support. The partnerships between our schools and the community are truly special and make me proud to call Green Bay home. I also want to express my gratitude to my family. My mother's passion for teaching inspired my own journey into education. To my husband Aaron, your unwavering support means the world to me. I'm proud of the life we have built together. To my colleagues, I'm continuously inspired by you all. Teaching is a team effort. I cannot do this without you. I am so grateful for your collaboration, encouragement, and innovative ideas. As I look around this room, I'm energized by the stories of all the educators. I'm committed to continuing to grow and learn, striving to be the best for our students and their families, because that is what they deserve. Thank you again for this honor, and let's continue to make a positive impact in the lives of those we teach.
Schneider believes that one of the keys to building a strong community is through education. The teachers we celebrate here tonight have not only dedicated themselves to being the best in their field, but also into making a difference in the lives of their students. Teachers need to adapt to the newest challenges, learn ever-changing technologies, and find the most creative ways to engage all of their students. These teachers absolutely deserve to be honored and celebrated. And that's why Schneider's thrilled to be part of this event and express our appreciation and gratitude. One of the inspiring things that happens when you give away a golden apple is to be able to see the happiness and the joy in the students, the smiles in their faces, knowing that their teacher has done something special and that genuine appreciation and enjoyment they have is just fantastic to see. Schneider has more than 4,000 Green Bay based associates and we continue to grow. But in order to maintain our success and be a resilient organization, we need to hire the best possible candidates. These teachers are developing those candidates. Not only are they teaching the basic skills we learn in school, but also how to problem solve, how to adapt, and how to think critically. These are some of the skills that are being required of these students once they enter the job force. And it truly starts with the educators of today. On behalf of Schneider and all of our associates, we would like to thank teachers for everything they do. Northeast Wisconsin, you stepped up, nominating more than 3,000 teachers for this year's Golden Apples. The list was narrowed to just 35 teachers of distinction. Here now are the rest of those recipients. Our final Golden Apple recipient says her classroom feels more like home. And it is clear by Gina Wagner's energy at Denmark Middle School that she feels comfortable in this space. Guando! Guando! Okay. Some say laughter is the best medicine. Everything's better if you can smile and laugh about it, right? And for these seventh grade students inside Denmark Middle School... A lot of these kids are my neighbors and things like that, so I'm like, Senora, Ms. Wagner. But when I'm out here, I'm, I, I'm Gina. I said, my friends call me G. <laughs> so. Senora Wagner brings more than just lessons to class. Muy bien. Favorite. I said smiling and laughing is my favorite. Muy secreto, sí, como así. Enthusiasm. Entiendes? Creativity and lots of humor. ¿Quién es el victima? Are other ways she encourages her students to learn. Okay. Hands-on learning is key for Senora Wagner when educating her students. I'm a little old-fashioned that way. I still like like Velcro and move, you know, and things like I love, I love manipulatives and being able to touch things and move things. And my brain never stops like working, like trying to create something like, how can I create something that they use in their life that I could make or uh, go to the junkyard and get some supplies. So as we're teaching, you know, uh, like things, the parts of a car or something like that, I, I just want them to be able to buckle up or, you know, whatever it is that we do. For her students in Spanish one, they're not only learning a new language, but they're also receiving a lesson in the language of love. The other day I had like a really bad headache and she like just could tell by my face and she like asked me if I needed help or if I needed anything. So she's like there for everybody. The Golden Apple doesn't just sit on the desk of Senora Wagner. Golden Apples cover the wall out here in the hallway at Denmark Middle School filled with notes of admiration. I felt so happy for her. I was so proud because like it's it's not every day that you know a teacher from your school gets the Golden Apple Award. An apple perfectly picked for Senora Wagner. I'm extremely honored, um, but as there are, if, if you were to interview other teachers here, there are so many Golden Apples in this building, in this district. And I had told somebody else, I said, we could have a Golden Apple Orchard in here. In know. Denmark, Emily Deem, Fox 11 News. My name is Alec Belling. I am the technology and engineering teacher at Denmark Middle School. I have the awesome honor of introducing our Golden Apple award-winning teacher, Gina Wagner. 
I first met Gina when she interviewed for our Spanish teacher position via Google Meet during the COVID shutdown. Working her magic, before we knew it, we were all engaged in her lesson from the kitchen table. After that interview, it was very clear that we were getting an experienced educator packed with passion for her content and compassion for her students. Since that interview, I have really gotten to know Gina as an educator. If you were to walk into her classroom, you would know very quickly that she cares deeply for her students. Gina finds creative ways to engage with all of them. She doesn't design lessons. She designs authentic experiences that they will remember forever. It is my pleasure to introduce an amazing teacher, Gina Wagner. Presenting the Golden Apple Award is Sabrina Zerhouni, Communication and Employee Engagement Manager at JBS. On behalf of JBS Foods, we are proud to present the 2024 Golden Apple Award to Gina Wegner. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone, and thank you for this time. I would like to express my gratitude through this little rhyme. I'm so grateful for this recognition. I feel truly blessed. From the bottom of my heart, thank you to my sponsor, JBS, and to the Chamber of the Greater Green Bay for making this so special in every possible way. For companies to honor all the work that teachers do is so thoughtful and kind and very generous of you. This whole experience has been like a dream, like who doesn't want to hang with Michelle Melby and Emily Deem? My former teachers have instilled in me a desire to emulate their ways and wanting to inspire. I appreciate my colleagues. Outstanding is our staff. They are passionate and fun, and we love to laugh. The Denmark School Board and Admin are the best in so many ways. Very little can top them. Well, maybe a raise. Much love to my parents who taught me hard work and drive, and because of your support, I have been able to thrive. Hank, my husband, who has the tolerance of a saint, honors all of my crazy requests with never a complaint. A Golden Apple recipient? Man, that title is the bomb. But my favorite title of all has always been Just Mom. Rudy and Isabella, you make me so proud. You are the loves of my life and the sunshine in any cloud. To my enthusiastic learners, you make it easy to love what I do. And my challenging students, I learn from you. You keep me on my toes and remind me patience is key. I'm just hoping one day you will see what I see a very tender soul with great gifts to share. All that you needed was someone to care. My students are the reason I look forward to every day and hoping to make a difference in any little way. Thank you. Honoring teaching excellence is celebrating the best educators. Golden Apple Awards leads this way in recognizing teaching excellence for K-12 educators. Likewise, JBS drives to be the best to create a better future for our team members and community. Workforce development needs to start at a young age. Our community's K-12 educators are developing our future leaders and future workforce to succeed in the modern society. The K-12 educators continuously innovate and develop student-centered education to instill the core values needed in our current workforce. JBS, being the largest meat producer globally, needs educators to instill the desire and passion for the importance of agriculture and animal science to future leaders in our industry. Because of the education instilled by educators, the industry can continue to have future leaders to drive and help provide quality foods to families everywhere. Congratulations to the 2024 Golden Apple Award recipients and teachers of distinction you make it look easy. But we know it is far from that, and your hard work and sacrifices are appreciated more than you will ever know. We also know there are many more educators deserving of this award, and we look forward to recognizing them in the years to come. Thank you for supporting education in our community. We'll see you again next year. Congratulations and great job, everyone. The work that you all do makes a significant difference every day in the lives of students, and for that, we again say thank you. I also want to thank the corporate sponsors who have supported this program over these many years, as well as the Greater Green Bay Chamber. You all clearly define what it means to be a partner in education. Thanks for watching. 
the Golden Apple Awards presented by the Greater Green Bay Chamber and the Donald and Darlene Long Family Foundation is brought to you by Associated Bank, Green Bay Packaging, the George Kress Foundation, JBS, M3 Insurance, Schneider Foundation, The Press Times, United Healthcare, and WLUK Fox 11.